So what we've got here is that when it gets to this point, it will ask, are we doing this for a group or not? Okay. So if we're doing it for the group, then let's add an owner, which is the group. And then let's redirect ourselves to the actual group. Otherwise, we do this for the normal user profile and redirect to an actual profile. Alrighty then. So at this point, we are good, but not so fast. There are a few things to be done here. So we have to make sure, first of all, that the person doing this has the right to edit uh, the group profile, uh, the cover image. So we must know this. Now, in order to know this, we know that uh, there's uh, the if statement saying, um, what's that if statement? I own content. So we can know if we own the group just by saying I own content and putting the group row there. And it will bring either true or false because we created this function already. So what we need to do is to ask the question, do we own this? And then if so, we allow them to pass through here. Now, already, if we're in a group, we will not be allowed to pass through here because none of these conditions will be met. We are not dealing with a profile. We are not dealing with a cover. Okay. So let's uh, fix that a little bit. So let's see what other guardrails are there. So once we pass through here, if we do pass through here and we're in group mode, I think everything else will still work as normal because none of this is checking whether this is a group or it is a uh, post. Okay, so there's just this one here where we are changing uh, to profile here, this profile, and then if this condition is met, then we change to that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think it would be a good idea to just tell it that uh, URL is equal to cover so that we go in as a cover here if we come in as a group. Okay, so let's do that right now. So I will say if is set. So we are looking for the group data, right? So group data. If group data is set, then we are definitely doing this for the good of the group. So let's come here and let's change a few things. So I will alter this to set it to cover because that's all we are changing in the group. It's always the cover. But we have to be careful here. Uh, it's not all the time that when group data is set, we are changing the cover. We need to have more information and that information is to tell us if files has any data there so there's files uh which is which now files files so i'll just check if there is content in here so i'll say if group data is set and but let's start with this one if this is set so it doesn't have to change for group data at all so let's try if Let's do if count is greater than zero and like this. So what I'm asking here is that this is an array. So I'm saying if there's more than one item here, which means there's an image and it's set group data, then let's set that to cover. If it's a page, things are going to be a bit different because a page can also be a profile or a cover thing so we'll sort that out when we if we do get to pages that is so at this point once i do this then this actually qualifies now so let's make sure that everything we have done here is actually working otherwise it seems uh it should work as required mm -hmm. okay 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 wait a minute wait a minute Mm -hmm. So I think this also requires a little bit of a change because set that here we are telling it to set cover image is equal to file name where user ID is equal to user ID. No, actually this is pretty fine. 
now where does user ID come from? That's the important thing. Mm -hmm. So there's user data, okay? That's user ID. So what's important here is to ask the question, is if group data is set, So if group data is set like that, then it means uh, we have to set this to group data. So let's put that here and let's put group there. Yeah, I think uh, that's about it. So if you are to have uh, pages, you can do the same thing here. Add one for pages and you are good to go. So I think uh, this uh, solves everything. Uh, so let's give it a try and see if we are in business. So I'll just refresh because I had already sent uh, this, uh, this file. So reset. Oopsie. I guess uh, something didn't go well. Let me click back to my... Uh, uh, okay, so let's go back to the group. Let's see what problem we're doing. So let me add the burger instead. Let's see. Burger change cheeseburger so it didn't show up on my page here so which is a good sign so let's go back then to groups and see what is happening why aren't we seeing anything here okay so one one way to know where we are ending is to just put die all over the place so let's put die over there and see if we will get uh, any recognition oh and by the way it actually refreshed wait a minute wait a second and come back here if i say change profile here let me try this one more time and change oh actually it doesn't okay it doesn't refresh they still cover at the top there which means it doesn't go through here because if it did it would be redirected to the normal profile over there. Okay, so it's not going through this part right here. And the reason is simple, is because here, instead of putting an equal sign, I'm equating it to, I'm trying to figure out if this is equal to that, which just returns true. So just remove that one equal sign there, and I think we should be good. So let me try again, change, cheeseburger change oh there we go that is looking good mm -hmm. cheeseburger so here we go so as you can see now it's showing it's not showing that it's me that changed this okay it's showing that uh, the group is what changed this my first group updated his cover image so of course it's not supposed to say his, it's supposed to say there and we uh, actually don't know why we need, do we need this? No, we do not actually. Uh, groups do not show, this is for pages. This would be good if this was a page, but for a group, I think, uh, no, this is not required at all okay so at least so far we have managed to change our cover image and let's go to our profile to see if we haven't messed anything up here so refresh everything is still looking good and yeah, let's go back to our group and click there and group right there mm -hmm. i think we'll leave it there we'll just edit what it actually shows here when it's a group and uh, that should be fine okay so i will see you in another tutorial